Either way. Yeah. Hi, James. What's up, Tracy? All right, we'll get started. Uh, first question, Mark Berman. Hey, James, take us through the, the tip by Robert Covington when you missed the free throw and he came in there and got it done. Uh, I'm going to play him and uh, him and PJ communicated, you know, what they were going to do, you know, on the offensive rebound. Honestly, like I, I didn't mean to miss it. You know, like I wanted to, I intended to make it. And it was just a perfect miss. Um, and they, they did an unbelievable job of moving uh, the Dallas bigs around and, and was able to tip the ball in. Christy Rican. Hey, James, after not playing a game that mattered for so long, what was it like to finally play a game that mattered and have such an exciting game like you had tonight? Uh, I felt good. You know, obviously, we got a lot of things to correct. You know, we watched film tomorrow, but I think the overall intensity, overall overall effort was there. You know, Dallas is a really good team, especially, especially offensively. Uh, they create so many uh, mismatches, mismatches and um, they got so many shooters on the floor. So they put you in situations where you have to help, over help, and then uh, that's when they knock shots down. But we did a really good job of just staying with it uh, for the course of the game and give ourselves a chance at the end. And uh, we made some big shots. Jonathan Fagan. Uh, to hold Dallas to 20 in the fourth quarter and then come on as strong in overtime as you guys did, how much was this win just about fitness and, and endurance uh, under the circumstances? Fitness, legs, conditioning, uh, and the will to win. You know, we. In practice, we, we get after it, you know, so our legs, you know, we're built for it, especially we're smaller. So we got to be built for it. We got to make sure that throughout the course of a four quarter game and in overtime, uh, like tonight, you know, we, we're always ready. And uh, the guys did an unbelievable job, especially in that fourth quarter. We were engaged. Uh, we were talking at each other's backs and uh, we got some huge shots when we needed them. Thank you. Kelly, Kelly Eco. Good. Kelly. Oh, James, uh, kind of talk about the spirit of you guys being down double digits and coming back, you know, in overtime and for in the fourth quarter. Huge. You know, I think that's that's key. Now we need to watch film and start games like we did in that fourth quarter. I think we were down 11. Uh, obviously, it was a really good offensive team, but our just mindset, you know, once our mindset is where it needs to be throughout the course of the game, um, you know, our defense will, will be really good. Our offense is already good. So, uh, we just got to keep working at it. And these, these seven games left, we'll, we'll, we'll pick that up. Randy McElvoy. Hey, James. Great game tonight, man. Uh, cut, talk a little bit about cut, uh, Covington, if you don't mind. He had the shot struggling a little bit, but he kept shooting. He was being encouraged to shoot and then knock down that big, that big one for you guys. Uh, that's what he's here for, you know, and he worked on his shot every single day. You know, that's one of the reasons we're small is – to be able to create shots and, and open shots. And he had a lot of them tonight, which aren't going to fall all night. But uh, we, we build confidence in our guys to be able to shoot shots, whether it's the first quarter or overtime. And uh, he had the, the confidence to knock that shot down. It was a huge shot for us to put, a, put us up for. So um, Jeff had a lot of open shots. We had a lot of guys that had a, little, a lot of open opportunities that didn't go in. But uh, we'll live with those shots. Dave McMenamin. Hey, James, uh, the entire NBA had to wait four plus months to play a game. Uh, you and, and Russ had to wait a little bit longer uh, coming to the bubble after um, uh, other uh, players around the league. Then you go out and combine to score 80 points, the most you've ever had as teammates. Um, do you think missing the game or, or that time away aided in uh, the production you guys had today at all? I don't know if it helped us or uh, hurt us, you know, because that's time away from our teammates, uh, building that, you know, chemistry after four months, build, building that togetherness. Um, but tonight was a great start. I think this training camp for those first three weeks, we had a really good training camp. You know, guys are getting after it, uh, building our conditioning, building our communication, and just happy to be around each other. So, um, like I said, tonight was a really good start for us. You know, obviously, you know, we came away with the win, but we got a lot of things to correct. Uh, for these seven games, going into the postseason. We'll take two more. Tim McMahon. Hey, James. Um, as good as the Mavs have been offensively this year, clutch offense is, has been their one big flaw. How aware of that uh, were you guys? And could you sense kind of that there was pressure building on them as you guys were able to hang around there uh, down the stretch? 
our confidence defensively was, was building, especially in that fourth quarter. We were knocking down shots. Ben started off with two big threes, and we kept getting stops. We kept chipping away, chipping away uh, in that middle of that fourth quarter, and uh, that gave us an opportunity, you know. And, and even, you know, with one minute to go, I think we were down six points or seven. Uh, Cleaver hit a big three in the corner, but we came down and kept pushing the tempo, kept fighting, kept getting open shots. And um, at the end of the day, we gave ourselves a chance, like I said. So uh, we got to be better, though. It's not, it's not even close to where we want to be. Uh, but we're building in the right steps, in the right direction. And last one, Adam Spolin. Hey, James, as, as you guys are coming back in that fourth quarter, could you feel them hit any sort of a wall, or could you feel their spirit drop towards the end of that game as you're coming back? Uh, we kind of felt it. You know, their legs, you know, we kept telling ourselves we're built for it. You know, we're going to play four quarters, and we have the legs to be able to push through uh, mental toughness, you know, and so – that's kind of was our mindset, each individual that was on the floor. You know, we kept saying, push ourselves, push ourselves. Uh, you know, and we got to our spots. Defensively, we were active. We got stops when we needed to. And that's going to be the thing, you know, making sure that we, we're built for four quarters and even overtime if we have to, to be able to, you know, compete and, uh, you know, play well. Thank you, James. Thanks.